Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the braided puff stitch cowl. And this cowl was designed uh, to go along with the braided puff stitch beanie, which you can also find here on my YouTube channel and on my blog. For this tutorial today, you are going to need a copy of the free written crochet pattern, which can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link will be there for you in the description of this video. You're also going to need about 250 yards of a bulky weight yarn. For these projects, I've been using the Karen Swirl Cakes by uh, Yarnspirations for mine. So if you are using the same, it's a number five bulky weight yarn. It's uh, about 252 yards and you're going to need the entire cake. You are also free to substitute uh, that yarn for any other bulky weight yarn. You're also, for this project, going to need an eight millimeter crochet hook. And I'll just pull back here. I have my sample of my cowl. It's a very cozy cowl, very highly textured. It's quite thick, uh, but it's also uh, fairly easy and quick to work up once you get going. It features these braided uh, looking puff stitches, which give it gives it its unique look. The finished size is about seven inches by 16 inches laid flat. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around and uh, enjoy some of the other free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials that you find here. Our pattern today is worked in rounds. You're going to start by making a slip knot. You're next you're going to work your foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to be a total of 81 chains. If you would like to change the size of your cowl, you can adjust that stitch count uh, in multiples of two, uh, but you are going to need that odd number of stitches. So today I'm going to chain 81. Then after you've chained 81 without twisting that chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. So once you have chained your 81 chains, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and it's going to form a ring. You're then going to chain one and evenly work 81 half double crochet stitches all the way around. So work a half double crochet into that same chain as joining and then into each chain all the way around. When you come to the first one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of your round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round two, you're not going to turn your work. You're going to chain one and you're now going to work a single crochet into the third loop. To find the third loop, this is the front of your stitch. You have the top here with these nice little V's that you would normally work in and when you pull your work forward you will see on the back you have that top horizontal bar and then you'll see another horizontal bar there just below it. This is your third loop so when you're working your single crochet stitches around here you're going to pull your work forward and insert your hook only under that third loop and work a single crochet stitch you're going to repeat that all the way around. So look for that third loop at the back of your work and single crochet into it. As you go, it gets easier because it kind of uh, pushes the top forward and so that third loop is more visible there. And when you look at the front, you'll see that you have 
this nice ridge that's formed all the way around. So go ahead, single crochet in each stitch, working in the third loop all the way around, and then join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. At the end of your round two, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. We're now going to start working some of those puff stitches. So what you're going to do, you're still not going to turn your work, and you're going to begin by chaining three. You're now going to work the first puff stitch, and the first puff stitch is going to be worked around this post of this chain three. The chain three will count as a double crochet stitch. So you're going to work a puff stitch by yarning over and inserting your hook into the stitch before uh, the double crochet stitch. So in that case we have our chain three and it's into this stitch here right before it. So we're going to work back into that stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that previous stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to do that a total of five times. So there's one all into the same stitch. Two, three, four, and five. Once you've done that five times, yarn over and pull through all the loops that are on your hook and uh, chain one. You're then going to skip the next stitch so you have this stitch where you have your chain three or your double crochet working out. You're going to skip the next stitch and into the next stitch work a double crochet. You're then going to repeat that puff stitch that you just did working in the previous skipped stitch. So there's my double crochet into the skipped stitch right before it work a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop and do that five times. Once you've done that five times, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook and chain one. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next stitch double crochet into the next and then working around that double crochet post puff stitch in the previous skipped stitch. Do that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. So at the end of round three you've chained one and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that chain three, which was your first stitch. At this time, at the end of round three, you are going to uh, chain three and turn your work. So you want the wrong side to now be facing you. You're now going to work another round of those puff stitches. So you have your chain three here. You're then going to reach back and work your first puff stitch into the uh, previous chain. So that's this chain here that's closing off your other puff stitch down below. You're going to work your puff stitch into that chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, and drop a loop five times. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. You're then going to skip the next puff stitch. So skip the chain, skip the puff, and into the top of the next double crochet stitch, uh, so you're going to chain one, and work a double crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. Next you're going to work a puff stitch reaching back into that skipped chain stitch.
chain one, skip the next chain stitch and puff stitch, and into that next double crochet, work a double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So puff stitch, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet all the way around and when you come uh, back to the beginning you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain three and get ready to turn your work at the end of your round four you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch chain one and then once again you're going to turn your work. So you now have the right side facing you. We're going to work another round of half double crochet stitches and you're going to work half double crochets into each double crochet and each chain stitch all the way around. So starting with the same stitches joining, half double crochet into that first stitch and half double crochet into your chain stitch and then uh, continue across half double crochet into the double crochet and then half double crochet into the chain space. I guess that's where I was working. You can work them into the chain stitch if you'd like but uh, either way chain space or into the chain stitch. So just half double crochet all the way around you should have your total of uh, 81 half double crochet stitches and then join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. At the end of your round five you're joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Do not turn your work. Instead chain one and now you're going to work in the third loop again and single crochet all the way around. So for round six, working in the third loop, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round six, join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. Now for the rest of your cowl pattern, you're for rounds 7 through to 14, you're going to repeat rounds 3 through 5 twice. So your next round is your round of puff stitches and then your other puff stitches, your half double crochet and your single crochet stitches. So repeat your rounds 3 to 5 twice more you should have three rounds of these braided puff stitches and uh, then you can uh, meet me back here and we will finish our cowl off. At the end of your round 14 you're going to uh, fasten off and then taking your yarn needle you're simply going to weave in the ends of your cowl. So just take your needle, weave it in and out like so and you're going to, going to do that for both sides if you had any tails in the middle you're also going to want to finish those off and then your cowl is complete. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to take a look around. Feel free to share photos of your finished pieces online and if you do be sure to tag uh, Ridge Textures Crochet so that I can find them and uh, I'd love to admire your work. So thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.